Hey guys, wait up. We're... I want you guys to show me that thing. You and your $6 shorts you get over here. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can see everything through those shorts. Thank yep. you. Uh, so, been getting a lot of this. Uh, people complaining about elbow pain. Oh, so common. Yes. Tennis yeah. elbow, you got pain. Golfer's uh, elbow. Yeah, you got pain. Oh, let me see your arm, sorry, not the stick. Oh. Uh, you get, lots of people have pain here, uh, at the top of the elbow, I underneath the elbow. I'm sorry. On inside here. Sometimes people will get pain in here. They'll think it's the bicep, but it's really muscles that connect to the forearm. Right. So, you know, brachioradialis muscle is a big muscle that comes up over here. This is sore in a lot of people uh, that walk around I get computers. That one all the time. So, Justin has a stick move that uh, okay. he likes to call a solution for most elbow pain. Right. And so, uh, this was introduced from the stick mobility guys to me. Um, and then I wanted to add my own little wrinkle to this move just because I wanted to overemphasize this rotation that I can get uh, more of those muscles you described activated through this. So, I start with a supinated grip and then I'm going to drop the uh, stick. And then I'm gonna rotate my wrist all the way up and around, which some people might not be able to initially do that real easy. Yeah, they'll need to grab the other side. So I, I A, will have to reach my arm out a little bit further to accomplish that, or bend my elbow significantly. Um, but I wanna keep this part, I wanna pull it down towards my body while this is wrenching this arm out. Ma maintaining the grip the entire time. You'll see a lot of people start to loosen up. You wanna keep right. that grip tight because we're getting all those flexors and extenders when you're rotating in that pronator So tears. even way out here, I'm gonna feel uh, this getting stretched. And now I pull it even closer to my body, I'm putting more pressure on it. And now I'm making sure to depress my shoulders and retract them. And now I wanna reach as far out as I can stand while keeping that grip where it is. Okay, now the wrinkle that I was gonna add that's a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna try to then protract my shoulder forward to get rotation and then retract it so I'm kind of pulling and rotating so you're going my back arm and forth, you're adding movement. Forth. Right, so I'm making it a little bit more dynamic. Well now the reason why I love this is a lot of times when you get elbow pain, it's related to everything that's coming into that, right? right. So it could be bicep related, it could be tricep related, it could be forearm flexors, extenders related. So it could be a lot of different things and by you doing that, you're kind of releasing the shoulder a little bit, you're stretching the bicep even in that position and you're getting your, your flexors and extenders That's, in your forearm. You know, it's a, it's a good point you make because people don't realize that you know, when I'm in this position and I'm stretching, a lot of times people will just hold. They'll just hold a position, but it's a lot better to get some movement right. in there. And you'll find you'll have better results by moving. I like to get in this position here, and I like to take this hand here and use it as leverage to bring it up the right. arm up higher. See, there you go, you can get and creative this, this, with it. This gets real gnarly right here. Yeah. The stick's pressure on my brachioradialis here while stretching it also is a nice little now, twist. Now, a, a regression, I have a regression for you, it doesn't get mad because I'm gonna get on the ground right here. But a regression that I have we for that movement, mad. if you can't get to the point where you can rotate like that, is I'll actually take... Oh, on your fins? Mm-hmm, and then you'll just kind of rock forward, rock back, rock forward, and then you can rock to the side, rock to the other side, and then you do the same thing with the palms down. So palms down this way, rock to the side, rock to the side. Some people just do not have that. It actually goes great with the music in the background. So. <laughs> Some people do not have that flexibility in their wrists and their forearms to even get into that position where you rotate all over. So this would be a regression to that. I would start somebody off on the grass like this, just kind of warm up, mobilize it a little bit, and then hopefully get to the point where I can do a full rotation like what Justin was just talking about. But I can't think of any other, I mean that, and then addressing probably shoulder stuff. So a lot of times, yeah. if you do not have really good shoulder mobility, you could be pinching something that's causing that. Of course, yeah. of course. This is much more targeted, but uh, if you have you know, elbow pain on either side, right. uh, if you work at a desk a lot, you'll find this quite useful. It'd be very helpful, yeah. Especially here in Silicon Valley, and this position is very common. So one of those great sort of uh, uh, stretches to kind of address all that.